What is going on guys, Jerry Cater here, welcome back to the channel. Team React Video, we're already catching the beginning interview by Taka of 1 OK Rock. Oh, but before I do that, just make sure to stick to the end of the video. I will be talking about the future of Ronnie Kenshin on this channel and the Hokkaido arc. If you're not sure what that is, I'll definitely go into detail about it at the end of the video. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Alright, and here we go. So we got Taka from 1OK Rock. Kenshin with his bloody cross-shaped scar. Fresh in the movie. That's gonna be so heartbreaking to watch. Him talking about Broken Heart of Gold. Great song, by the way. All the lyrics are in English, you know what he's talking about. It's like, it's the movie perfectly. It's amazing, honestly. Batosai with the one scar. It's gonna be so wild seeing that. Batosai in his prime in live action. Alright, here we go. Him murdering everybody. Him versus Okita? That looks like Okita, I wanna say. I wonder if that's the fight at the end of the movie when he actually has a full cross shaped scar and he's just trying to escape. Or, just, you know, leave. Him assassinating everybody. Tomoe! Oh man. Best couple. So crazy is the last, honestly. I wonder if they're gonna actually ever adapt the Hokkaido arc down the line. That's a great shot right there. Smash my broken heart of gold. I can't wait to see this. I hope we get like an international release or something, honestly. I'm so excited for that movie. I can't wait to see the final and the beginning, honestly. I'm dying to see it. But I heard they changed some stuff in the final, which makes sense, because you can't fit the whole Jinchu arc in that movie. So I hope we do get a proper anime adaption of the Jinchu arc and eventually the Hokkaido arc. But you're going to start catching up with this point. Let me actually switch gears now. They did first start reading when it first came out. If you know what the Hokkaido arc is, pretty much there's actually another arc in the Ronin Kenshin series. It actually came back. A couple years ago, they released a spin-off, two chapters of a manga called The Ex-Con Ashitaro which is a prequel to the Hokkaido arc, so you definitely want to read those two chapters first. And this new character, Shishio Swords, is actually pretty cool, honestly. He ends up joining Kenshin's squad with two other characters. So three more to the Kenshin Gumi. So Ronin Kenshin's not over. So in Japan, the Hokkaido arc is currently up to chapter 36. Luckily for us, there's a guy named DT Ninja on YouTube who's making, like, fan translations of these, so you guys could find them pretty easily. So I'm going to start reviewing these and reading these and trying to react to these as well, because I love Ronin Kenshin. I hope it can make a comeback, honestly, and we'll get the proper animated adaption with the real Jinchu arc and the Hokkaido arc. In the meantime, I'm going to cover the manga just because I love the story in general anyways. So hopefully you guys will get to experience it along with me as well. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys all later. Peace everybody.